What's up, Beam Tribe? Mitch here from Florida, and today for our movement snack, I'm going to go through the five Tibetan rites. It's a yoga style practice in Tibetan Buddhism. It's great to increase your energy levels in the morning and also to make it so that breathing feels a little bit easier because we're moving right away first thing in the morning and really opening up a lot of different tissue that connects through our torso and moves around. So there's five different positions. You can go through this for two to three rounds in your morning, and you really only need to do anywhere from three to six reps of each one as you go through. So the first one we're gonna start with is a standing twist, and then I'll show you a variation of it as well. So arms out by my side, I'll spin around, two to three per direction. Careful if you feel dizzy, if you haven't spun in a while. The other variation is the standing trunk twist. I can keep my hips square, or I can twist my whole torso. But again, two to three per side. We'll then make our way to the floor and we're gonna be making a J shape with the body, which kind of looks like a hollow body leg raise if you happen to have done that before. So I'll lie completely flat, head down relaxed. And then as I lift my legs, I'm gonna lift my head as well. And then crutch in, bring the legs as close as I can, make my way back down. Again, lift, three to six reps, and then down. Once I complete three to six reps, I'm then gonna lift up and start one of my arch variations. There's two that you can do. The first one, I don't position my hands except by my side and I just look over my head and arch back. Three to six here. The other variation is with my hands on my heels and I can kind of glute bridge into an extension. So I'm here and then I bridge as I lift up. You might feel a little bit more of an intense stretch through the legs when you do this one. And that's going to be our third movement in this series of five. The next one that we're going to go to is a reverse tabletop. So I'm going to sit here, hips or by the hands, hands slightly turned out. That can take a lot of pressure off the wrist if you have any wrist issues. So I'm here, my hips are by my hands, and then I'm going to bridge my hips up and forward. So I bridge up and through, hold for a few seconds as I go through my three to six reps. And then once I complete this, again, focusing on my breathing as I go through, light, easy breaths, I'm gonna then transition to my final position, which is gonna be that downward dog. So I start in a push-up, and then I press the head through. I can pedal the heels if I need to. And then I'll come back down. And you can even go all the way down if you want, and then lift up, and then back into that down dog position again, and then roll through and lift up tall. Keep in mind, as you go through the five Tibetan rites, remember, it's good to do first thing in the morning because it does require a lot of different movement, but it's a great way to start your day. And you'll feel increase in energy, you're moving first thing in the morning, and it's gonna really help you kind of start your day off right. And if you win your morning, it can make the rest of the day a lot easier. So good luck, that's the five Tibetan rites, give it a try, and let us know how you feel.